Now if you're running into a problem with Windows 7 checking for updates, like you come in here and you click on check for updates and this thing like spins for hours and you're not getting your updates, or better yet, let me open up this image here, you get this error, oh that's horrifying. Well, what I've got is three options that you can go through and I recommend that you watch the entire training video to find out which one you feel works best for you and by default if one doesn't, well, you got the other two. In any case, go ahead and watch it. Let's start off with something very simplistic and see if that's the issue. And then we'll get a little bit more intensive. So, well, this one's going to check and hey, I'm up to date, of course, because I fixed it, which is nice. Let's go ahead and close out of here. And the first thing we're going to do is very simplistic. Just come down here, click on the start button and type in services. And then up here, we're looking for the cogs with the word services there. Click on it and let's maximize this window. And yeah, the Windows Update is a service, and it's sorted alphabetically. So go ahead and scroll down to the W's, and we're looking for Windows Update right there. When you select it, you can stop the service or restart it. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and double-click on it. If the Start button is active, that means it stopped, and that's going to be the issue. Just go ahead and click on Start, so once it starts up, you can go ahead and check for updates. But if it's not stopped, then go ahead and let's do a reset. Click on Stop to turn it off and then click on start to turn it back on and do a reset to refresh and then I recommend you shut down and restart your computer just to be sure although this should work just as is but in any case go ahead and do that and then when you're done click okie dokie close out of here click on the start button go to the control panel click on system and security there's Windows update click on check for updates and even though it says it's up to date and don't trust it Especially if you're going to be upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 8 or Windows 10, you got to have the latest updates if you watch my upgrade from Windows 7 or 8 to Windows 10, because if not, you can run into issues. So always make sure you check for the latest here. And then, you know, if that works for you in the next couple of minutes, hey, great, it worked. If not, okay, we got to up our game here. So the next thing to do, and this will work, I'm not going to waste time here by watching it, let's close out, is we need to check to see what type of system we have, if it's a 64-bit or 32-bit system, because we're going to be downloading some files that we may be missing to turn on the updates. So first off, we need to click on Start and go to Computer, right-click on the computer, and go down to Properties, and let me maximize this. And there's our system. And right there is the system type 32, or in my case, 64-bit operating system. So keep that in mind because when we download these files, it's going to ask you, do you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit system? Now, before we download these files, there's a couple things we need to do to set this up before we install those files to make sure they take and it actually works. So since you're here, how about if we just go back one step, you know, control panel to system and security so I just went back before we go back to the control panel and here where it says Windows update we click on turn automatic updating on or off click on that and change it to never check for updates because we don't want it messing around when we restart our computer after we install the first file because that could mess things up and then go ahead and click okie dokie then let's go ahead and click on the start button again and type in our services and you can come up here and click on services and maximize scroll all the way down again to the w's and there's windows update double click on it and go ahead and click on stop and then change this startup type and set it to manual and then go ahead and click apply click okie dokie and then what we're going to do is download the files install them one at a time after we install the first one you got to restart your computer and then install the second one in that order and then we'll go ahead and we'll flip these back on and see if it works so we got that set let's go ahead and close out and close out of here and then let's go ahead and find these files to do that I'm gonna open up my browser here and hey there's my website quick plug if you need Microsoft Office training videos from me and I've been certified in Microsoft Office every version since 2000 so you can see we've got Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, Access 2016, 2013, 2010, 2007, which I have on DVD and download. That not only includes the videos, but the exercises, the instructor notes, and the quizzes. Well, there's the plug. Come check me out. In any case, let's come up here and do a search for Microsoft Catalog 
update or update catalog and then go ahead and hit enter and I'm using Yahoo as my search provider and so I need to scroll down to get past all their ads and there's the line that separates the ads above from what I want to find down below probably can't see it in any case there we go www.catalog.update.microsoft.com Microsoft Update Catalog go ahead and click on it and I'm going to give you the number of the first file that you want to download and install and that's going to be in the search field go ahead and type in 3020369 and hit enter now I'll have the links that you don't have to do the search you can click on that will take you right to this page down below this video in the description so check that out unless you want to do the search that's fine it's your flavor and then down below you've got Windows Server and Windows 7 we're Windows 7 right but do you remember as I told you on the computer properties if you have a 64-bit system or 32-bit now this doesn't say 32-bit but that's for 32-bit so as you recall mine was 64-bit so I'm going to come over here and that's a slightly larger file than the 32-bit and click on download and then click on the link and then I click on the drop down arrow to do a save as to make sure it's saving it to my desktop and then click save and then it's doing a security scan make sure everything's grizzly and then if it works it'll pop open and say hey do you want to open the folder location yeah, I'm good let's just go ahead and close out of everything there it is on the desktop right there go ahead and double click on it to run the install and follow the prompts but for me it's already installed so I'm good and if it's already installed for you chances are that this may not be an option but we'll continue because maybe you don't have the second file so if it's already installed great and if it's not install it follow the prompts click okie dokie now you need to shut down and restart your computer so click on start and click on the little arrow next to shut down and restart to make sure it takes our update here and then once you restart your computer let's go ahead and do the next one so we need to open up Internet Explorer but remember I'll have the links available down below in the description so that's what I'm going to do here just click on the link to take us to the Microsoft Update Catalog and this number that we're going to be searching for is 3172605 again the first one was 3020369 and this one's 3172605 search and then down below well we don't want the Windows Server we want Windows 7 products there's my 64-bit and there's a 32-bit if that's yours come over here click download and do what we just did before download it to your desktop go ahead and double click on it to install it and if the first one's installed but the second one wasn't well that may be the key so then after you have that installed let's go back down and reset everything back to well we gotta type in services because we turned it off right then come up here click on services and let's go ahead and scroll down to the W's and I can't say W I just prefer W and then there's Windows Update double click on that and go ahead and click on start and well mine's already started here and then go ahead and change it to start up automatic delayed start and then go ahead and click apply click okie dokie and so with it selected if it says stop well that means it's running if it says start that means it stopped so make sure it says stop because that tells us it's running so let's go ahead and close out of that and then let's go back to click on start to go to the control panel to do system and security and then under Windows Update we want to turn automatic updating on or off click on that and then click on the drop down arrow and choose something besides never check for update which is not recommended I like check for updates but let me choose whether to download and install them so that way if it's an update that I'm not ready for because sometimes when Microsoft puts out an update once in a while they didn't really do their due diligence and it kind of messed up my computer so I wait till everybody else complains about it and then I go ahead and download it probably after 10 or 15 days unless it's a security threat or something that I want to make sure I check it and download it as soon as possible and so you go ahead and choose and then click okie dokie and that's it in this window still go ahead and click on check for updates and it's checking for updates if it's not doing that then of course come over here in the task pane and click on check for updates and I'm good to go didn't sit there and dilly dally forever so if you tried the first option and it didn't work the second option didn't work then I've got one last option that when I did it it worked for me and so it's up to you I'm gonna go ahead and close out 
That is if you're desperate because we're going to be deleting things. So to do this, I want to click on the Start button and go ahead and let's go to Computer. I'm going to double click on the C drive. So there's Computer in the address bar, C drive. And then I want to go to Windows, double click. And then I want to find Software Distribution. So it's sorted alphabetically, it's right there. Double click. And I deleted everything inside of here. And what that does is it keeps track. It's got a log of previous updates. So when you clear that out, it clears it all out. And what happens is when I did that, everything deleted except for this last one, the events log. And so I restarted my computer and then I was able to delete it. And then once this folder was completely cleared, then I went ahead and did check for updates and it started checking for it. I didn't get the error because I had an error before, you know, the one that I showed you that was on my desktop, this guy right here, double click error occurred. So that was good. And it took a little while because I deleted the log. So it didn't know what updates I had before. So I had to start all over again on their side to check my side. And it took uh, several minutes before it said, hey, you've got updates and you don't have a log. Let's go ahead and create it. And it worked. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.